It was one teenage girl's dream to grab her pom-poms and cheer on the sideline for her high school's football team. But for 16-year-old Independence High School sophomore Sarah Green, this dream became a reality when she was invited onto the squad by one of her former teachers who coached cheerleading. She's the only girl with Down syndrome on her squad and is an inspiration to many. Her mother Betsy is extremely on our proud. Squad and she does a really nice job. And it's really been a good experience for her as far as um, being with the other kids and the girls have always been wonderful. Sarah's hard work, dedication and positive spirit don't go unnoticed. Her coach Claire Toth admires Sarah. She brings, you know, an awesome spirit to the squad and everybody loves Sarah. But Sarah's spirit isn't limited to just the football sideline. It goes far beyond that. For Sarah's 16th birthday, she and her mom sent out invitations, asking for donations to a children's shelter called Providence House in Cleveland. Sarah's mom searched for charities online and chose the Crisis Nursery because it protects at-risk children up to five years old, prevents child abuse, and then tries to bring back together their families. Picked Providence House because um, because it was babies, right, Sarah? Yes, Mom. And Sarah and I went there to drop the gifts off, and it was just really, really nice, huh? Yeah. It was fun. Mm -hmm. The babies came, a couple little babies came and gave us a big hug. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Providence House could not operate without donations like Sarah's. Guests at her Sweet 16 gave diapers, baby wipes, and paper products for the kids at Providence House. They try to reunite the kids with their families, the um, parents who drop off their children there because they can't take care of them because of whatever reason, finances, drug addiction. They have to sign contracts that they have to come and visit the children once a week and they have to make sure that they get counseling themselves. Sarah Green blew out the candles on her cake with family and friends and officially became a 16-year-old. But she may not have realized that she also became something else that same night. A role model. For TV2 News, I'm Mike Holden.